Hey guys, it's Mel, and welcome to Mondays with Mel. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I want to talk to you about my weekend. Um, so uh, I have my hat on because my hair is crazy. I have no makeup on because I have been basically holed up in my room for the last mm, four days with two of the most amazing people in my world and um we did a weekend four day weekend think tank session uh the original intent of the think tank was for something else related to a project that we're working on but um we ended up having to pivot and shift gears in the moment and make better use of our time with one another this weekend. And so we ended up talking very deeply and very thoroughly about things that um, you know we were struggling with as business owners, entrepreneurs, uh, you know, and wherever we were at in this journey. So um, I was working with my amazing Adrian Ebel and equally amazing Tamara P. Fields. Um, if you don't know them, look them up. Adrian Ebel, Tamara P. Fields, they're fantastic. And um, I could not have been more grateful for their time, their insight, their wisdom. They have been in business for themselves for several years. And uh, they graciously went back in time to where I'm at um, now and um, hey sis and and walked me through the things that they had to learn along the way where I'm at in my business journey and so I told them on the on the call today we just we literally just wrapped up about six minutes ago <laughs> I told them that there are things that they taught me that I probably could have looked up probably could have read from a book, probably could have found someone on social media to follow and learn. But the fact that these people were in my inner circle and possessed the same knowledge and wisdom and insight and also made it real and personable through the sharing of their experiences, this is what made it invaluable to me. And I could not be any more grateful for the time that they invested the time that we spent actually together as women, sisters, business owners, all in different places in this journey, just to help each other with things that we picked up listening to the other person talk. And even though I couldn't necessarily help in certain ways, uh, we all contributed something to the growth and development of one another. And that's what made these last four days amazing. Don't get me wrong, I got my ass handed to me for these last four days on stuff that, you know, I should be doing to um, further my brand, you know, solidify my expertise, get my credibility, my presence out there. Things that they've already told me and been telling me to do for years. Um, and so there was a lot of just coming to Jesus moments, you know, just acknowledging where I was not being accountable or being consistent and as a result you know certain things in my business just weren't showing up um and me getting to a point of frustration about that how much of that is on me and how much of that is just things i didn't know so basically that's what's been happening these last four days and the reason why i'm telling you this story of what I have been experiencing with Adrian and Tamara is because it made me very grateful each morning that I've woken I've woken up this past weekend I reflect on things that I learned from the time I spent with them the night before or the day before and you cannot put a price on the people that make up your personal guard and what I mean by that is um, people talk about having a tribe, people talk about having squad goals, 
you know, as a group of women, these are my sisters, these are the people I roll with, I roll deep, whatever it is. I have a personal guard. And you know if you're in my personal guard. Because if we've ever been on the phone at midnight, crying, praying, talking about stuff, whatever it is, you're part of my personal guard. If we have gone through the thinnest of thin situations, you are in my personal guard. And I don't have to name names because I have them all over the country. But a personal guard to me is deeper than a tribe. It's deeper than a squad. It's deeper than any squad goal you could ever have. A personal guard is a frontline group of people who would fight for you, do whatever it takes to preserve you, protect you, help you, raise you up, put you to, you know, put you back together. And the one thing about a personal guard for me and my personal guard is if anything were to go wrong, I just have to make one phone call and everything would be taken care of. That's who you know has your back. That's who you know um, will be there for you. Those are your real ride or dies. And Tamara and Adrian make up a part of my personal guard. I'm grateful for that. These are women that I know I wouldn't want to mess with and I don't want to cross. But at the same time, if I, if, they would advocate for me and they would go to bat for me. And so this week, I really want to encourage you to think about who is in your personal trot, who is in your personal guard, who is helping to raise you up in life. Because you might be done being raised because we're all grown, but there's still an opportunity for people to help raise you up. And if those people make up that close-knit unit that can help you get through life and navigate through the challenges and the ups and downs and take the time to teach you and take the time to train you and take the time to advise you and guide you. You need to go back to those people and you need to thank them and you need to tell them why they are invaluable to your life. And in all the ways that everyone who makes up my personal guard, you know who you are. Some of you are watching right now. You know who you are. And your presence and your position in my life is invaluable. And in some shape, way, or form, you have helped me to get to where I am today. And please know that the feeling is mutual and that I will always do whatever I can to help raise you up, to be that person you call at midnight if something were to happen. So this week is more about a reflection of gratitude, awareness, um, and just you know taking that time out to make those connections with the people that have really shaped your character and the condition of your overall life. Even if your circumstances right now aren't ideal, preferable, struggling, hard, downright difficult, damn near exhausting, whatever it is, if you're still able to stand, wake up every day, put your two feet on the ground, there's at least one person or a group of people who have helped made that action possible. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everybody who has played an instrumental role in who I am. I know that, you know, coming off of my job and going into business for myself full time was a huge leap. But there were all these people that prepared and primed me for this time in my life. And whether they dropped a nugget of wisdom here, 
dropped a dollar or two in my bank account here, whatever it was, however you supported me, I want to thank you. And I love you. The feeling is mutual. And if you need me to do whatever I can to help raise you up in your life, you know how to get a hold of me. So take this week, maybe find somebody in your personal tribe to call and thank. Look them in the face on a video. Don't be going to people's faces and breathing in people. No, don't do that right now. Put on a mask or do a Zoom and tell them thank you. Love you guys and uh, hope you have a beautiful week and I will talk to you next week. Bye.